supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That's not a word. Of course it's a word. And unless I'm very much mistaken, I think it's going to prove a rather useful one. Right, Mary Payton? When trying to express oneself, it's simply quite absurd To leap through lengthy lexicons to find the perfect word A little spontaneity keeps conversation keen You need to find a way to say precisely what you mean Califragilistic expialidocious Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious if you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Um, de, um, de, light, um, de. But it doesn't mean anything. Well, it can mean exactly what you want it to. When Stone Age men were chatting, simply grunting would suffice. Though if they'd heard this word, they might have used it once or twice. That's not right. I'm sure Egyptian pharaohs would have grasped it in a shift. Then every single pyramid would bear this hieroglyph. Oh, oh supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Say it, and wild animals would not seem so ferocious. That's where the flourishes its sorrow cool conclusions. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. She may be tricky, but she's bloody good. So when the cat has got your tongue, there's no need for dismay. Just sum it up this word and then you've got a lot to say. Pick out those 18 consonants and 16 vowels as well. 